In this video, I'll show you how to customize the location of your sculpting brushes in Blender. So in previous versions of Blender, the sculpting brushes were on the left side panel, and I like that a lot better, especially because when I'm sculpting, I'm usually sculpting a character or a face, and so I like to have as much vertical space as possible. But in Blender version 4.3, there were some major changes to the sculpting brushes, and they did improve the sculpting brushes. They also created the sculpting brushes as assets, but they also changed the location of the sculpting brushes so they're down here on the bottom, and I really don't like that. Now because the brushes are now assets in Blender, I originally thought that you could just click and drag in the corner to split the window, you could click to change the editor type, you could change it to the asset browser, then you could click here on the arrow to open up the side panel, click on all libraries and change it to essentials, and then if I open up brushes, I could click on mesh sculpt, and then if I click along the brushes, I could easily just change the brushes, but this unfortunately doesn't work. And so this is why you might be seeing a re-upload of this video, because this is actually a wrong method, it doesn't actually work. You can see if I try to change this to the sharp or the crease polish, it's not actually changing the brushes that you're using down here. But there is fortunately another method which you can use to get the brushes to be over here on the left side. So what you want to do is click here to split the window, so click and drag over and then let go. And then what you want to do is click down here on this panel and you want to drag the panel up as high as you can. Then you can click here on the display settings and you can turn up the size and just make it about this big, something like that, whatever works well for you. And then you can click here in the corner and you can drag this smaller. And then if you need to adjust it, you can scroll your mouse over here, click on the size, and then you can just drag the size around. So maybe I'll make it a bit smaller. But you can see if I make it smaller, there's kind of this extra gap here. So that's kind of annoying. It is a little bit quirky, kind of hard to use, but you can see if I just change the size and then just drag this panel bigger and smaller, this panel here is now just another 3D window, but I've just made the brushes panel really large. So now what you can do here on the bottom is just click and then drag down and let go just to close that. So now you can see I have the brushes on this side. So for example, I can use the clay strips brush or the draw brush or the crease brush and you can see it's changing between the brushes. So then if you want to set this up in your default startup file so that this is the default settings, what you can do is set up all your default preferences and then you can click on file and you can click on defaults and then click on save startup file. And so that way when you go back into Blender, these settings will be here on the default. So that's how you can customize the location of your sculpting brushes in Blender. And if you'd like to watch more of my sculpting tutorials, you can check out my sculpting tutorial playlist. Link to that is in the description. So I hope you found this helpful and thank you for watching.